Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for this subject SCPM. We have already covered every possible question from the module and it is completely free of cost available on our YouTube channel arranged in a playlist form. In case you all have not watched, I would request that you all watch those lectures first and then try to come back over here. In all those lectures, I've tried to summarize the concepts. I have tried to give a summary of the things that are uh, revolving around that question. I've answered why this is the correct answer, why others are the wrong answer. In case you have still not given the exam for SCPM, those videos will be quite helpful. Two more things, join our telegram channel and our group for the regular updates. And uh, lastly, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course of SCPM, then the link is there in the description. Once you will be enrolling, automatically the lectures will be starting. There is absolutely no need for you all to be uh, calling us. The details are there in the link over there. Let's start it off. We are on to chapter number one and an interesting question. A product that holds high market share, that holds high market share in the market, and experiencing high rates of growth would be considered as which type of product according to the BCG matrix. Now, BCG consultancy firm, Boston's uh, consulting group, that was a company that made this entire matrix. Okay, so a product that has high market share and high rate of growth will be classified as what, what type of product. So, therefore, in the matrix only of BCG, there are four types of products that are there. Either that is a star product or that is a cash cow or that is pets or that is a question mark. Okay, so these are the four categories of the BCG matrix also to be honest. Okay, now before I will disclose the answer, you should be knowing what is BCG matrix. Now BCG matrix tries to classify all the products into four parts. On X axis, we all have relative market share. We have relative market share. In that you have high or low that depends upon like you know that your product has a high market share or not on the y-axis you all have market growth rate market growth rate in this case again can be high or low now among these four options that are there okay so either your uh, product will be classified as a star product star product means has very high market share and high and has very high growth rate then will be classified as a star product uh, question mark products will be those which have low market share but then have high growth rate. Then cash cow are those products which have low uh, growth rate but then have relatively high market share. And lastly, you all have last category of product. These are pets. Okay. Some people call them as dogs also by the institute. But then uh, originally it is supposed to be pets. Pets are those particular products that have low market growth as well as low relative market share. Like, you know, pets you only keep because you love them. Else there is no use of them. No. So therefore, hence that word comes. Now, let me give you an example. Examples say a company like Apple, they all have so many products, okay, which product will be categorized as a star product, those products that have high market share and have high growth rate, I think over there it should be iPhone only, that should be like, you know, something that should be coming over there, uh, iPhone has a very high growth rate and it brings them lot amount of money also, so therefore high growth rate, high market share, so iPhone will be classified over there. Next in line, I would like to be having say uh, something like say cash cow. Now cash cow, if one example I have to be giving that I already disclosed over there will be something like say your MacBooks. Now MacBooks, it could be also like, you know, uh, one more example, if I can be giving, it could be say iPads. Now relatively, if you start to be thinking like, you know, the growth rate of MacBooks of laptops, like, you know, has not increase much it is quite low but then macbooks have relatively high market share in the segment that it deals with that is a premium segment so therefore in the premium laptops it has a very high market share same way ipad also has a very high market share when it comes to the premium tablets okay but then the growth rate of all these things are falling it is not uh, increasing as such like you know demand of all these things like you know it's not much then further, as a reference to say, I'll give off question marks now. So for question marks, I have an example, say iWatch. Now iWatch, Apple has low market share. Might be it needs to innovate far more. 
the features in iWatch are almost now across the Android watches also. Yes, few things here and there are far better, but nothing much. Like, you know, like most of people still start to be thinking why to buy, say, a 50,000 or 60,000 uh, smartwatch when 80% of those features are there in 3,500 watch also. So, therefore, growth rate of smartwatches is very high, but Apple's market share is very low as far as the iWatches go. And lastly, pets, like, you know, these are only produced because we love those products, okay? But Apple doesn't have lot amount of market share, okay? Neither the growth rate is there. Best example over there could be, say, a product which is almost now discontinued, that is iPods. So iPods is basically like, you know, those people who don't know, this was an MP3 player, one of the largest selling gadgets at one moment of time in the world. So... The question was any product that has a high market share and a high growth rate should be categorized as which product. So therefore, obviously, it should be a star product. OK, so out of the four options, first one should be the correct one. Yeah, that's the correct one. Uh, before I leave you all for today, one small thing. This is the QR code for the playlist of the MCQs from the module. In case you all have not watched, I would request that you watch them and then start away with the board of studies question. I'll see you all uh, next time in another lecture. Take care. Bye.